Welcome to the first devlog of my dream perfect platformer game. I enjoy playing platformer games such as Celeste and Super Meat Boy, but I really like fast paced games. Games like Celeste have like a long levels, so I thought like why I don't create my own game with very challenging platformers and puzzles, but also make it very short with the short level sessions. So let's start with the devlog. First, let's talk what's the game about. The game is very simple. You just have to collect a set number of keys to open the gate, and then you just enter the gate to finish the level. And that's it, this is the core gameplay. As a solo developer making a game by my own with a limited time, I don't want to make it very complicated with a story or any other unnecessary stuff. I just want to make it like a speedrunning game or a challenging platformer game when your goal is just to challenge yourself and finish the level and reach the end level. Now let's talk about movement. The first and most important thing when making a platformer game is the character controller. So I spend a lot of time tuning the movement to make it perfect for the game and the game goals and also the level design. But luckily a while ago I created an asset for the Unity Asset Store about tight controls. So it's an ultimate controller, it has anything you need in a controller for a platformer game. First I just disabled the climb and slide system, I disabled the dash and the crouching. In the jump I disabled the other jump types such as crouch jump, dash jump and air jump. I just keep the wall jump since it's the main mechanic of the game and of course the ground jump. I kept the snappy jump and jump cut to make the jump looks snappy. Also you can do short jumps when you release the jump button faster before reaching the apex. As you already noticed from the replays, there is no air jump and also there is no dashing. So the main mechanic of the game is ground jump and wall jump. A lot of levels require a lot of precision in jumping and in wall jumping to finish them without dying. The reason is levels are very short and very small, so adding a double jump and dashing just like make the player ignore everything and it will be very easy to finish. So this is the end of this first devlog, we talked about movement, jumping and the core gameplay mechanic. If I see a lot of people like this devlog, I'm gonna keep making them until I release the game in Steam and maybe in other platforms in the near future. So thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.